Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about a drama romance film called The Girl Next Door from 2004. Enjoy your viewing. Shortly before graduation, high school students take pictures for a yearbook and write down the funniest things they've done during their time at school. But a modest guy like Matthew Kidman has absolutely nothing to remember. The only thing that comes to his mind is receiving a scholarship from Georgetown University. But it's very boring. At a school assembly, Matthew is the president of the school council. He and his friends tell the students that they have finally raised $25,000 so that a brilliant high school student from Cambodia can come to their school as an exchange student. After the meeting, the three classmates look enviously at the popular high school students who skipped class and went to the beach. Matthew decides to do something crazy in his life and is going to join the company, but his friends refuse and go back to class. Matthew gets behind the wheel, but he is immediately followed by a policeman who gets into a severe accident while chasing the high school student. Suddenly, Matthew regains consciousness and realizes that all this is just his unbridled imagination. When Matthew returns home, he meets his parents' friends and is told that he is rehearsing a speech for representatives of Georgetown University, who are ready to give a scholarship to the graduate with the highest moral character. Later, Matthew is taking out the trash, and he can't take his eyes off his hot new neighbor, Danielle. She brings her things into the house. As Matthew goes up to his room, he notices Danielle in the window opposite him starting to undress. Suddenly, the girl turns around and makes eye contact with the schoolboy. Soon after, Danielle enters the Kidman house to meet the neighbors. The girl says that she is staying at her aunt's house while she is away. The parents tell Matthew to give the new neighbor a tour. Danielle and Matthew get into the girl's car and drive around the neighborhood. The boy begins to apologize for peeping, and then the neighbor suggests that he go out on the road and strip naked. As soon as Matthew does so, Danielle takes off running and drives away. But soon she comes back and says, she was just kidding. They stop at a cafe where Danielle says she quit her job because she wants to go to college. She also mentions that she doesn't have a boyfriend. Matthew reluctantly admits that he hasn't done anything crazy in his life and adds that he would like to date a girl who would help him with that. When Danielle drives his neighbor home, Matthew does not dare to kiss her, even though she does not mind at all. The next day, at school, his friends are surprised because Matthew was afraid and didn't dare to kiss the hot neighbor. Soon, Danielle shows up and offers her neighbor a chance to escape from class, and he happily hops into her car. The two spend the whole day together and get to know each other better. Matthew also tells the beauty about a student who, thanks to his activity, will soon be able to attend school. Danielle brings her neighbor to an unfamiliar house. She takes off her clothes and jumps into the pool and invites Matthew to do the same. The boy is nervous, but dives into the pool after the girl. The two of them swim and are about to kiss, but suddenly, the school principal appears from the doorway. Matthew realizes what this could mean for him and asks Danielle to get away as soon as possible. They hurry to Matthew's friends, who can't take their eyes off the hot beauty. Together they go to a party at the house of a popular high school student, Derek, where most of the guys also can't take their eyes off Danielle. Hunter immediately starts flirting with the beauty, and Derek is going to escort Matthew home. The guy realizes that he might lose his chance. He walks up to Danielle and kisses her hard, while his friends look at him with undisguised envy. The next day, Eli invites Matthew over and shows him an interesting movie in which Danielle plays the lead role. Matthew is very angry that his neighbor has hidden such an important detail from him. His friend advises him to drag the beauty to a motel and have a good time with her. When Matthew returns home, he is surprised to see his parents showing the girl Matthew's childhood photos. The boy imagines the neighbor having fun with his parents, and he runs away to his room. Soon the neighbor comes into his room and asks what happened. The boy imagines what he can do with the beautiful girl and invites her for a car ride. Matthew takes his neighbor to a cheap motel and buys a bottle of hard liquor. Danielle realizes that the guy has found out about her interesting profession. The girl starts to undress, but then stops and asks if he really wanted to. Matthew doesn't know what to say, and Danielle gets offended and walks away. A few days pass, and Matthew can't get the beautiful girl out of his mind, so he comes to her house to apologize. Suddenly, a suspicious man with tattoos appears from the next room, whose name is Kelly. Matthew has to leave, and Kelly follows him, saying that he liked the guy's reverent attitude towards the beauty. After that, the three of them go to a club, where Kelly says that he is a producer of interesting films, and Danielle is his main star. He adds that they have met before. The high school student tries to talk to the girl, but she coldly answers him. Matthew tells his friends about his encounter with Kelly. After school, the friends see that Kelly is looking for new talent among the beautiful high school girls. The producer shares with Matthew that he would like to shoot a movie right at the prom, which he thinks should be a real hit. 
Later, Matthew and Kelly go to the bank, where employee Jeannie tells them that the high school student has finally raised the $25,000 needed to bring an exchange student. Matthew introduces Kelly as his mentor. A few days later, the producer takes Danielle with him to Las Vegas for a film festival. The girl explains to Matthew that there is no escape from the past and that she does not belong in a new city. At Matthew's request, the friends decide to follow the beautiful girl to the festival. Eli is going to film everything that happens on a video camera, but he is immediately stopped by a security guard. The guys see Danielle posing in front of the audience. Matthew tries to apologize to the beauty, but she does not want to talk and advises him to return home. The rich producer Hugo offers Danielle to work for him, but Kelly is not going to share her star with anyone. Matthew tells the producer that Danielle doesn't belong here, so Kelly takes the high school student around the corner and tells him to mind his own business in a threatening tone. His friends suggest that he go home, but the persistent Matthew is not going to give up so easily. While Matthew is looking for Danielle, Eli and his friend lie to a pretty actress about being directors. The girl asks the guys to use her in their next project. The guys want to take advantage of the situation, but her big friend realizes that the high school students are trying to trick them and gives chase. Matthew finds Danielle, hands her a piece of paper, and tells her that he knows who she really is, and that she is better than she thinks she is. The guy walks away, and Danielle looks at her own drawing, which she drew for Matthew in a cafe the day they met. The next day, Matthew is rehearsing his speech when Danielle suddenly appears, having decided to run away from Kelly. She gives her neighbor a ride to school and thanks him for believing in her. The two of them kiss, and Matthew asks his neighbor to go to the prom with him. The girl happily agrees. In class, Matthew continues to rehearse his speech when Kelly suddenly bursts into the classroom. The furious producer takes Matthew away with him and claims that he lost $30,000 because Danielle did not show up for the shoot. The schoolboy replies that he doesn't have that kind of money, and then the producer hits him hard in the face several times. But then he takes pity on the boy and gives him painkillers. Kelly declares that he will forgive the boy's debt if he leaves Danielle and steals a statuette from Hugo that should rightfully belong to Kelly. The boy breaks into a mansion and steals a statuette. After that, he escapes from the owner of the house. Mean Kelly calls the cops to the scene of the robbery, but Matthew manages to hide from them. He calls his friends, who soon pick him up by car. After that, they all go to pick up Danielle. Matthew begins to behave very strangely, and Danielle immediately realizes that Kelly has slipped him something other than painkillers. Soon, the boys arrive at a gala evening where Matthew and other applicants for a university scholarship are to give a speech. The high school student is still under the influence of the pill. He kisses one of the competitors hard and dances and laughs senselessly for no reason. Matthew can't read his speech from a sheet of paper, so he talks about how moral strength means finding what really matters to you and risking everything for it. At the same time, he looks tenderly at the smiling Danielle. The audience gives the schoolboy a standing ovation, but the scholarship is given to his main competitor. The next day, Matthew arrives at the bank to get $25,000 for his exchange student. He is horrified to learn that Kelly, under the guise of his mentor, has completely cashed out the bank account. The high school student asks Jeannie not to tell anyone about what happened and promises to return the entire amount. Matthew tells Danielle and his friends about what happened. Soon they come up with a plan to make things right. Danielle calls her actress friends for help and helps Matthew meet with Hugo. The boy returns his trophy to the producer and makes an attractive offer to Hugo. On the day of the graduation, Matthew and his friends film everything that happens on several video cameras. The guys pick up Danielle, where her friends are also waiting for them. Together they arrive at the prom, where they shock the audience with their spectacular appearance. Soon after, Hunter and his friends approach Matthew, recognizing the boys' companions as they have seen the girls in movies many times. Matthew offers the boys to star in an interesting movie, and they gladly agree. Matthew gives the high school students the script and accidentally drops the consent to publish the video footage. The boys start filming all over the school and Matthew returns to the main hall where he dances with Danielle. Soon, the vice principal appears and asks Matthew about the consents found on the stairs. The boy pretends to know nothing. Suddenly, the crew has a serious problem as Derek's device breaks down due to excitement and no one can replace it in a key scene of the movie. At first, Matthew wants to do it himself, but he thinks about his newly established relationship with Danielle and starts to have doubts. Luckily, his friend agrees to play the lead, and soon the guys are in a limousine celebrating the end of filming. Matthew and Danielle are left alone and make love for the first time. In the morning, Eli calls Matthew and screams in horror that the tape with the footage has disappeared. Returning home, Matthew sees his parents, the school principal, and Kelly. They say they have an important conversation with the boy. 
Kelly takes the boy aside and begins to blackmail him, threatening to show the tape with the questionable video material to his parents. But for some reason, the schoolboy just smiles. It turns out that the boys have made a video about education for teenagers. The adults are impressed by what they see. The video quickly becomes popular and is sold in huge numbers around the world. Matthew earns a lot of money, Eli becomes a professional director, and Klitz is proud of his starring role in the video. Matthew pays for his university studies, and after classes, a happy Danielle is waiting for him. If you have watched the video so far, you should know that I am happy to have viewers like you. Thank you for watching to the end. Subscribe to the channel and follow the news. Klonsack Recapped was with you. See you soon.